Tens of thousands of protesters marched around the Congress building chanting, Palestine will live forever. Earlier demonstrators tried blocking the Israeli Prime Minister's Benjamin Netanyahu's convoy on its way to Capitol Hill and placed Palestinian flags outside his hotel. Demonstrators held signs reading war criminal, Prime Minister of Genocide, Bibi the Butcher, and various depictions of the Prime Minister, including one of Netanyahu with horns, soaked in blood, and his hands holding American ammunition. One of the organizers, Jennifer Falcon, from the U.S. Campaign for Palestinian Rights, said in a statement, nothing will erase the fact that Biden's legacy is, and will always be, genocide. Over the past nine months, he has repeatedly funded, armed, and backed Israel's mass slaughter of the Palestinian people. So I am, uh, I'm coming here to protest uh, Netanyahu visiting here. Um, I, I'm a taxpaying U.S. citizen and I can't believe that my taxes are continuing to fund a genocide. Um, I think that's unacceptable. And I can't believe he's here asking for more money when there are people literally dying um, of all of them, you know, of all of his actions. Yeah, it's more than offensive. I mean, the United States has spent billions of dollars at this point uh, sending arms to Israel, sending weapons in order to murder Palestinians uh, and not just be complicit in this genocide, but actually make this genocide possible. Um, so the fact that they're inviting this war criminal here um, and that they've been spending all of our tax money on uh, war, on weapons, um, rather than the things that are needed here in this country, um, is more than deeply offensive. It's, it's completely wrong uh, and immoral. I feel like I was betrayed by my own nation. My elected officials did not ask myself or anyone here or most of the people around this nation how they felt about inviting such a worldwide, world-renowned criminal to speak at our place. This place is an American house. It is not an Israeli house. It is an American house. And most Americans despise of everything this man has done. So I felt betrayed when I found out that my house speaker decided to invite him to this place.